This is Chad Warner at Optimize. I'd like to show you how to find outdated and abandoned plugins using the Vendi Abandoned Plugin Check plugin. So first you install it, go to Plugins, Add New Plugin, and search for Vendi, V-E-N-D-I. And there it is, Vendi Abandoned Plugin Check. So install it, and then activate it. And then it will run in the background and check for all of your installed plugins the uh, date that it was last updated. So it'll go check the WordPress plugin directory. And that can take a couple of minutes. So let's refresh here. Okay, not yet. Now this will not work for any plugins that are not in the WordPress plugin directory. So if you have any uh, premium plugins, those are paid plugins. Uh, if you have any custom developed plugins that you've paid a developer to create, uh, or if the plugin was once in the plugin directory but has been removed from the plugin directory, then it's not going to be able to uh, find the dates there either. So let's uh, refresh here. Okay, so we're starting to see some dates coming in. This plugin was last updated by the author in and then a number of days ago. All right, so what you want to look for here is uh, any plugins that have not been updated in a long time that I usually think of six months or so, about 180 days. If it's not been updated in the last six months, it may have been abandoned, uh, meaning that the plugin author is no longer maintaining it. It's not necessarily the case, uh, but it's not a good sign if a plugin hasn't been updated in the last six months. Uh, now, some of these you'll see there are no dates shown uh, or no, no numbers of days. Uh, so Gravity Forms and these add-ons, uh, these are premium plugins. So these are paid, so they're not in the WordPress plugin directory. So uh, the Vendi plugin check is not able to find them. So we'll have to check on those manually. Uh, let's just look down 157 days. So that's getting a little, a little long there, 97. Uh, so here's a, a custom plugin. So again, there's no dates there. Um, so let's see. Uh, okay, so if you see that now the rest of these do not have any dates, uh, and so that's just because the plugin hasn't finished uh, checking in the background. So let's refresh this again. Okay, and now we see all the way to the bottom, we've got numbers of days. Okay, so here, 223 days. So that is definitely over 180. Uh, so what you can do is uh, you can look at the details and just see, okay, sometimes a plugin author will put a note, like I'm no longer maintaining this, you better replace it. Uh, I don't see anything like that. Uh, you can look, okay, it was seven months ago, so not a lot more than six months ago. And uh, we can also see there are a lot of active installations and there are also many contributors. This is a, a very uh, well-maintained plugin. So I'm not really concerned about this. There will probably be an update soon. Uh, so that's, that's not concerning, but at least good to be aware of. All right, so what if you have some of these premium ones that, that don't have uh, a number of days shown and you don't remember um, updating this recently. Uh, okay, so what you could do is uh, you can uh, go over to the website. So in this case, uh, I could go to the Gravity Forms website. Um, you can either look for a change log, look for um, release notes, look for updates, uh, any kind of announcements that you would find. You can also just do a search. So I could do a, a search here for Gravity Forms change log. And sometimes that's a faster way to find it. Okay, here we go, change log. And I can see there's no date for the latest version, uh, but the previous one was just updated a couple of weeks ago. So I'm not concerned about that. It is being actively maintained. Uh, it's just not showing the date here because it's a premium plugin. And so uh, this way you are able to understand uh, when your plugins were last updated, if any of them have uh, been either removed from the plugin directory. So if you go uh, look in the plugin directory and the plugin is no longer there, or there's a, a note that says, you know, this plugin has been removed from the directory for whatever reason, then you want to take action to replace that plugin. Uh, you can either find one in the WordPress directory. Uh, you could go maybe purchase a premium plugin. You can have one custom developed if needed, uh, but you do want to make sure that your plugins are all updated because uh, you want to make sure to have uh, security fixes in case of security vulnerabilities. You want those to be patched. Uh, you also want to uh, stay on top of compatibility. 
so as WordPress software is updated, uh, you want to make sure that all of your plugins keep pace, uh, being able to stay compatible with your WordPress core, WordPress themes, WordPress plugins. So uh, making sure that they're updated there, uh, as well as just new features. Uh, plugin authors will add new features to plugins. If you have the latest version, you have the, the latest features. So uh, the Vendi uh, plugin here will help you to figure that out. Uh, so good to check a few times a year, maybe quarterly. Um, you can either leave the plugin installed all the time and see what uh, what it shows every time you look at your plugin screen, or you can go ahead and uh, delete the plugin and then just reinstall it the next time uh, that you want to use it. 